Hey, this is Steve again. Let's talk about beams. Their normal request is they want a beam that looks authentic, that's lightweight, and affordable. Let me show you how we do it. This is a ridge beam, it's 35 feet long. Cannot get it in the house, can't transport it. When we're fabricating the three sides, we miter 45 the corners. We'll use a random uh, joint on the vertical, on the horizontal, and then on the other vertical member at different places so that you do have a, uh, a seamless joint when you, when you uh, reassemble it on site. Um, we uh, begin by selecting the wood. You know, do you want rough wood? Do you want quarter saw on white oak wood? What do you want? You know, that's what we start with. So on this job, which is very common, uh, they wanted it fairly dark. They wanted the original saw curves. When we selected the wood, we got plenty of action, plenty of knots. Um, this is a primary beam that's actually going in their bedroom. Uh, we pick uh, boards with you know, voids and cracks in it. And those are not functional, but they are pretty, in, uh, if that's what you like. But we can do this out of a variety of ways. Uh, this is just a, a little sample of, of finishing, you know, a very light patina, a light uh, a provincial stain is what's on that. When we finish these, we rub them with a, uh, with a poly. It's made out of milk, and they're just as smooth as, as you can be. This is a little pickle, uh, great for a sunroom, great at the beach. A little gray undertones, a little pickling. Still dynamic in patina, still dynamic in texture. Uh, and I've done different beams in different houses. You don't have to do the same beam. This shows a little, a little mahogany, you know. Just showing you some different finishes here. Same wood, same technology. You tell us how wide, how tall you want them. Uh, well, now here's a beam that's the same type of beam, three-sided, but it's made out of reclaimed wood. This is barn wood. This is original. This gray, God himself made. When we pick the wood, we'll put a black tar paper behind it, or maybe we'll put a copper a flashing behind it. Uh, maybe we'll put a stainless steel flashing behind it. Whatever you want, we can make happen. Okay, um, let me get this one out of the way. Now you're looking at a DIY job. This is a black walnut, so we can do those other type of beams in black walnut. Um, but the way we do this is that we just give you the material and you put it together yourself. So here is, uh, you know, that's nine inches. It's got a, 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 a dado groove on the corner right here on the edge. We give you whatever width you want, and you put it together yourself. If you want, you know, again, whatever type of wood you may want. So uh, go out in nature, stop by an old barn, uh, capture the spirit. God bless you. Thank you.